Good morning children. Welcome to your science class. Students, let us discuss part E, page number 17 of lesson Plants Around Us. Part E. Answer the following questions. Number 1. Draw and label different parts of a plant. Children, in this answer, I am showing you one picture which is also given on page number 12. Please draw this picture and label the various parts of the plant in your copies. Students, here you can use colors also to make your plant look more beautiful. After that, please do this sheet also in your copies. In this, you have to draw the different parts of the plant or you can paste the cutouts also. And please write the name along with the picture. Now, next question is, write any three features of trees. Now, students, here you all must know the meaning of features. Features means characteristics or qualities or properties. Now, let us discuss about any three features of trees. As you all know that trees give us many things like trees give us oxygen, they provide us food, they give shade to humans and animals. They also bring rain. You can write any three features. The choice is yours. Again, I am repeating. Trees give us oxygen. They provide us food. They give shade to humans and animals. They give us wood. They also bring rain. Now, I am going to explain how you have to write the answer. The three features of trees are number 1, number 2 and number 3. Now question number 3. Write the differences between a tomato plant and grass. Now students you all must know that which type of a plant is a tomato plant and grass. A tomato plant is a herb and grass is a creeper. Now how you have to start the answer? Let me tell you. You have to write this line first of all. The differences between a tomato plant and a grass. Then you have to draw a line in between and you have to write a tomato on one side and grass on other side. Then your first difference can be tomato is a herb. Tomato plant is a herb. Grass is a creeper. Grass is a creeper. Now number second. The stem of tomato plant is thin and green in color. But the stem of grass is very weak and thin. The stem of grass is very weak and thin. Now the last question is. Why do some plants creep on the ground? Some plants creep on the ground and spread their branches on the ground itself because they have very weak and thin stems. You all know that creepers have very weak and thin stems. Now you have to write the answer in this way that some plants creep on the ground because they have very weak and thin stem. Now students again I am repeating which work you have to do in your copies. Question number 1. Draw and label different parts of a plant. This picture you have to draw in your copy and you have to label this picture also. And the second which I have told you that you have to draw the different parts of the plant and write their names. Rest question number 2nd. Your third, fourth, you have to do in the book only. You have to discuss all these questions again and you have to write in the answers in the book only. Thank you.